Understanding in this day and age, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring a phrase you've probably heard quite a bit. In this day and age, this phrase is not just common, but it carries significant meaning about time and context. Let's unravel its usage together, making it easier for you to incorporate it into your everyday English conversations. In this day and age refers to the current period in history, emphasizing the modern times we live in. It's often used to highlight how things have changed over the years, especially with advancements in technology, changes in social norms, or shifts in cultural practices. When someone uses this phrase, they're drawing attention to the uniqueness of the present era compared to the past. Understanding this phrase is easier when we see it in action. Here are a few examples. Technological advancements. In this day and age, it's hard to imagine life without the internet. Social norms. In this day and age, traditional roles in society are continually evolving. Environmental awareness. In this day and age, being conscious of our environmental impact is more important than ever. These examples show how the phrase can introduce a statement about contemporary life, often leading to a reflection on how modern advancements or changes impact us. While, in this day and age, is a versatile phrase, here are some tips on using it effectively. Contrast with the past, it's most impactful when highlighting a contrast or development from the past. Formal and informal settings, this phrase fits well in both formal and informal contexts, making it a great addition to your vocabulary. Avoid overuse. To keep your language fresh and engaging, use this phrase sparingly, and mix it with other expressions like, nowadays, or, in the modern world. And there you have it, a deep dive into the phrase, in this day and age. We hope this exploration helps you understand its nuances and encourages you to use it confidently in your conversations. Remember, language is about connecting with others and expressing yourself clearly. So, keep practicing, keep learning, and as always, we're here to support you on your English language journey. See you in the next video.